Okay guys, so this is how to go Laloon, my final episode. Let me quickly show you guys what my army composition looks like. As you see, I've got one archer, 15 balloons, 6 wizards, 4 lava hounds. Then I've got a golem in my CC, 3 rage bells, a jump, a poison, and my heroes. And then what I have lined up is, this is how I do it the following. It's 3 balloons, 2 wizards, 4 balloons, 1 wizard, 1 archer, 4 balloons, 2 wizards, and then 4 balloons, 1 wizard. That sort of um, helps you when you finish your attack, then you already have some troops trained up to donate and stuff. And then you don't have to wait that long. I have two lava hounds lined up and they're already to go already. Oh, that doesn't make sense. They are already trained up, one of them. So as soon as I attack, I'll have two lava hounds already. And then I've got my jump trained up already. So it's only the time that you have to wait for this whole thing is the three rage spells and the lava hounds because... Um, the Lava Hounds will take 45 minutes, but the 3 Rage will take, I think, an hour and a half. And then I've got a Poison lined up. So as you'll see, I've got double of everything. And what we're going to do is I'm going to do a live attack now. Let me quickly talk the pointers that I've realized in the last few minutes, in the last few episodes. I want to find a base where the air defenses are close to the outside. They're not touching one another. Um, the Queen is close to the air defense. Um, and, well, hopefully I have more than 220,000 elixir and I can do more than 2,000 dark elixir in this raid um, and then I must try and remember to get my lava hounds to be only two lava hounds per air defense but with balloons following them up um, so yeah let's see if I can get one nice live attack for you guys um, so I'm gonna start next thing and then um, yes we'll see what I find Okay guys, this is actually quite sad because I can't next this guy. I mean, he's got 380,000 elixir and 2,500 dark elixir. So, um, yeah, I'm probably pretty sure I have to go for him. I'm just not sure from where. Um, I'm thinking maybe we must... I think let's go from this top right side. Well, actually, no, that's the air sweeper side. So let's go from this side. I'm going to drop my golem and then... Uh, he's already going around. That's not ideal. Let's quickly take some of these troops away. Um, some of these buildings. So they, wow, that's really not ideal. So let's hope my let's hope that my queen takes out all those balloons because there the air defense is gone already. So that's nice. So now we can probably try and save at least some of the troops. Let's see if this will work. So now I'm going to drop some balloons to this side. I'm going to drop a... Let's see. Mm. I'm going to put one more. Try and save some balloons and some there we go, so now I'm going to... Okay, so there... Hopefully those guys will take them out from behind. The problem here is my Lava Hounds are not popping, so I'm gonna have you know, some trouble sweeping up this base. Fortunately my Queen is still alive, so this is really not going to plan. Um, I think when I have to get my Lava Hounds to pop, maybe I must not send two in at one. I must probably just send one um, lava hunt to each defense. So now I've got this whole bunch of troops and fortunately this one balloon is going down. So there they split up. So this is actually much better for me. There's nothing that's gonna make my balloons pop. So I mean my lava hunts pop. So this is not the ideal base I wanted to attack but loot wise I couldn't say no to this one you know. So let's see what's happening what happens here maybe they'll split up I might even end up here with a with a one star which will be very sad I've got three lava hounds at the top um, I haven't taken out that boulders hat so hopefully these balloons will take out the boulders hat and then oh there's one balloon here on the on the town hall so looks like it's going to be a three star it's not the best three star but you know it's a uh, it's nice loot so what I'll do is maybe I must try another live raid because um, this is not what I 
Well, I probably nexted for about 15 minutes trying to find this base. So with the loot bonus, this works out to very nice, nice loot. Um, so let's return home quickly. You'll see they already have two, four balloons and two hounds. Um, and okay, my poison spell and the jump spells already finished training. So um, yeah, let's uh, request for another golem, and then I'll try and do a raid on a tunnel nine, um, and I'll do that live as well. So I'll be back in just a bit. Thank you guys. Okay guys, so I've been searching for quite a while and this one doesn't have much loot but it looks like a nice base to do a 3 star on. Um, the hero, the queen seems to be down so I'm going to probably attack from this top side and see if I can lure out the CC troops if there are any and to see if... Um, I can take out that air defense. Sorry, I'm doing a live raid, so you know I usually is not not that good at talking while I'm doing a raid. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna drop my queen. Doesn't look like there's anything in the CC. So there goes the the troops. The C, uh, air defense is down. So now let's drop with. Let's start with the lava hounds. So there goes two of them. They should take out that air defense now they should fly to the next one let's start dropping them some here and then I'll drop another one on this side let's use my ability of my queen so so far it's looking quite good um, now I'm going to drop one last one on this side and some more balloons and I'm going to save this rage spell just so that more of those balloons pop on that side. Let's see if I can get them to get closer to that air defense. So far it's looking alright so I'm going to drop them here. Hopefully one of those lava hounds still explodes more or less now. There we go. And now I should have enough troops to actually take out the rest of this base. I didn't use my poison spell, so sometimes you know you lucky and you save that one. But here we go. This is nice dark elixir that I'm getting, and there's lots of lava pups everywhere. So as you can see here, uh, you know you have to just be patient and um, do not drop all your lava hounds just yet. You know you sort of want to make sure that the air defense goes down. You have your balloons behind the lava hounds, making sure that the lava hounds don't get popped. Um, too soon. Now fortunately here I realized I had three lava hounds there so that's why I didn't drop my balloons immediately behind the lava hounds. I sort of wanted them to start popping because a few raids of mine I had too many lava hounds alive at the end of the raid so so we don't want that. So there we go guys there is my my three star and um, not that much loot but I got nice dark elixir. So I hope you guys enjoyed the series and um, we are in a war that's just started so what I'm going to do is do some other attacks again whoops I'll um, yeah so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys again sometime have a good one cheers